Biomes and Food Security. This is a geographical inquiry for Grade 9 students and this video is designed to help you understand the inquiry that you have to do. These instructions are designed to be read in conjunction with the inquiry sheet that I've given you. So the first thing you need to do is to select a biome. Here you can see the five examples, forests, grasslands, savanna, tundra, or aquatic biomes. So select one of those and then work out what level, what aspects of food security are related to that. Now the big thing is here, I want you to create a website. You've seen this website often enough, that's my website that I use for my geography class. You can either work individually or create a group of two. So it's up to you how you go about doing this. Now what I want what I want you to do in relation to this web page. Well you have to answer the importance of the biome as a producer of food. For example, the aquatic biome is an important producer of fish. The grassland is an important uh, producer of crops. What are the current threats to food production in relation to that biome? For example, fishing, you've got overfishing. Okay, in relation to uh, crops, in relation to the grassland biome, you've got um, soil degradation. Now, the third part of your inquiry is to suggest ways of managing this biome in the future. So we're talking about how can this biome be used sustainably. Now how do we go about doing all this? Now this is the process. The first part is to engage in a whole range of research. I want you to look at maps, tables, diagrams and so forth, information. It's important that in geography we look at a lot of graphs, tables and diagrams. Once you have uh, collected some of that, it's, it's time to analyse and categorise that information. Make sure that you've answered the questions that have been asked. Do you, do you understand everything? You may have to re check your understanding um, with me or, or do some extra research. Um, you've got some relevant graphs, maps, diagrams and so forth. Now once you've got that sorted, or in the process of sorting that, you need to work out the type of web site builder or model that you want to use. And I've suggested three. Um, I've got experience with all of them, um, and some of you may know some others, but I'm quite happy if we to use any medium you like, but it's got to be a web-based uh, model builder. Now on your web page, um, there's a, a suggested number of pages that you could have. For example, facts about your biome, uh, you could have one of the amazing facts in relation to impacts or the dangers uh, to, to that uh, biome and that, that ties in with the threats. You could have a little thing about did you know, sort of amazing facts type thing. The future is very important. Remember I talked about what, what, what some of the solutions are in, in order to use this biome sustainably. And other aspects relating to it, um, remember the three clicks rule, which basically says, look, you, you don't want to go more than three clicks down to get information. So it's got to be easily accessible. And I also want you to include interactive elements. Interactive elements can be things like quizzes, uh, a video, um, a survey, just some other things to engage people to get them learning a bit more about what you're going to produce. As I said, there's a quiz, uh, you can use a video, um, a survey, you can attach a blog or some blog comments, it doesn't matter. Uh, there's a whole range of other things which I no doubt you guys know about, um, which you can try and build in. You don't have to build all of them, maybe just one or two elements, just to make it interesting. Now how do you go about allocating your tasks? I don't want, if you work in a group, to to both do the same thing at the same time. So in the researching phase, you're going to be researching different elements. Once you come together to analyze and start writing up, another person might be um, 
starting on the web pages and designing that and and uh, person two will be writing up and and collating things and, and typing things up and things like that so please don't do the same thing at, at one time um, so you can use your time more efficiently for your assessment there's eight elements I'm going to I'm going to assess you on how well you've communicated and that will have an uh, bearing on how well it looks and how well the website works, the interactive elements and so forth. Uh, the important thing is about the geographic information. I need to have some data and content, so you need to include some um, tables, some maps, some graphs, so those sorts of things. And that's part of part uh, criterion four, using images and interactive elements. Uh, you need to put your references in there. Um, another important knowledge criteria is the interconnection between the biome and food security remember there's uh, this biome if it's if it's fish it's being overfished that's security how can this then be managed in the future and that's a, that's the element seven and how organized and planned are you one to get um, the task done but also how you work in class I'll be looking at that now I'm hoping that this explanation has been useful to you. If you have questions, of course you can ask me, but your best source of uh, information is the internet. And just while I'm talking about that, if you want to find out how um, Wix works, there are plenty of tutorials that you can find. If you want to know how Weebly works, um, the first thing once you sign up, um, it gets you to a tutorial it only takes two or three minutes and I'm sure you're competent enough to do that um, if you want to use this thing called a quizlet to make a quiz it's very easy again they are um, you know over here in the help function there's tutorials on YouTube and all sorts to help you out and I'm hoping that this um, video uh, will serve um, to be reviewed to be viewed more than once so if you forget something you can pause go back and uh, view it again so best of luck um, with your inquiry